Elon Musk's boring company has completed digging a second tunnel underneath the Las Vegas Convention Center, marking the end of the first phase of the 52.5 million project to build a people mover system to shuttle visitors from one side of the venue to the other. The first of the two tunnels was finished in February. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com and I have a breaking news for you. As I'm about to tell you the story, please join our team him, join our community, subscribe to our channel and like this video and please if you can support us financially by applauding this story which the button is found next to the like button if you're watching on desktop. So the boring company's twin tunnels for its upcoming Las Vegas Convention Center loop have been completed. With the build out of the people mover system largely unaffected by the outbreak of this virus, the transport tunnels are still expected to be ready for public use in time for the 2021 Consumer Electronics Show uh, CES. That is, of course, if CES still happens. The ongoing uh, virus has affected multiple sectors worldwide, including the automotive sector, electronic sector, and it has resulted in cancellations and delays for numerous high profile events. That being said, if CES 2021 ends up pulling through, participants can be assured that they will have a convention way, convenient way to travel from one end of the LVCC complex to the other. The progress of the twin tunnels of the boring company of the LVCC loop has been quite rapid, likely thanks to innovations that have been adopted by the boring company. Prior to the Las Vegas project, most of the tunneling startups experience lay in a test tunnel that was built in Hawthorne, California. Las Vegas will be the site of the Boring Company's first transport tunnel system that's designed for public use. The completion of the two tunnels for the Las Vegas Convention Center loop was quite remarkable. The first tunnel was finished in February, while the second one was completed this May. With both tunnels completed, workers will now focus their efforts on completing the loop system stations on either end of the tunnels as well as an underground station in the middle of the system. With the loop system in place, visitors of the LVCC will be able to travel from one end of the campus to another in less than two minutes far quicker than the usual 15-minute cross-campus walk visitors usually experience. Although if you ask me, I prefer 15-minute walks because it's healthy, we eat a lot and we sit a lot. So I like the 15-minute uh, crosswalk. Interestingly enough, a report from The Verge has also revealed that the Las Vegas Convention Center loop will be free of charge, which is really wonderful. The upcoming loop system will initially start operating using Teslas that carry passengers from one end of the tunnel to another. Steve Hill, the CEO and president of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, noted that these vehicles would be launched with safety drivers at first, though they will eventually be allowed to operate on their own. Quote, whenever we get to the point where we know that it's safe to let the vehicles drive themselves, that's when we'll take that step. But there is not a deadline for making that happen, Hill said. Hill also added that ultimately the LVCC loop may be the first of an expensive transport tunnel system that can support locations in the Las Vegas city area. Quote, we've got a growing city and growing tourism base and we need all the options that are reasonably available in order to move folks. So we think all of those different options are important to maintain. And this is just going to be one more really fun one um, to add to the list, Hill said. Okay, friends, let me know what you think about this tunnel. Are you excited about uh, the boring company finishing the second tunnel? And... Um, 
I think the city's convention and visitors authority is still planning to open the loop in January 2021. Do you think it will be ready for the January 2021 opening? Uh, would you like to take a ride or do you prefer the healthy walk? Let me know friends and uh, let's continue the discussion in our uh, comment section below. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I thank you for all your supports and uh, for helping us to share our stories in social media and help us to grow. And if you would like to support us financially, I would really appreciate sending us an applause at least maybe once a month, huh? uh, and uh, which the button is found next to the like button if you're watching this on desktop. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I have very more interesting stories coming for you. Check out our channel daily, please. Have a great day. God bless you, and talk to you soon.